Wellenborough Museum, an exhibition that I drive past almost every single day. It was finally time to take a deeper look at what it really has to offer. First, I dived into the lower side of the gallery, which was covered in first and second World War content. I was also quite taken back by some of the photos here of how Wellingborough used to look like. Aside from that, it is also very prehistoric and showcases exhibitions that date back to the Roman times. An interesting fact is that the museum is actually housed in a Victorian swimming pool building. There is Princess Diana. She visited Saxby's in Wellingborough 1988. Then I took a wander upstairs. I was quickly distracted by the optical sound projectors that were issued for the UK Army in 1939. They were used to store sound recordings on transparent film. After that, I headed for the upper gallery, a very 1930s onward setting. I couldn't help but dive into the Anderson shelter. These were distributed in people's gardens to protect them during the Second World War. And a 1940s kitchen and living room setting perhaps a little bit different from the kind we're used to. The kitchens during that decade incorporated an authentic vintage and retro feeling. And finally, I conclude my tour with this display of Wellingborough London Road Railway Station in the 1950s. The station was on a line that connected Wellingborough with Northampton and Peterborough but closed in 1966. That is it from me, thank you for watching.